Welcome to Electro Online, and here's our second video on trigonometric identities. Now we're going to look at what we call the cofunction identities, and they're actually pretty neat when you think about it. So first, I'm going to give you the solutions to the six six trigonometric functions, um, where we take pi over two and subtract the angle from it. So pi over two, of course, is 90 degrees, and so the sine of 90 degrees minus x is equal to the cosine of x, and the cosine of 90 degrees minus x is equal to the sine of x and the tangent of pi over 2 minus x is equal to the cotangent of x and the cotangent of pi over 2 minus x is equal to the tangent of x and the secant of pi over 2 minus x is equal to the cosecant of x and the cosecant of pi over 2 minus x is equal to the secant of x so it's pretty interesting now in this video we're not going to prove these before we can prove that, we have to do some additional identities, so we'll need a few more videos first. But just to kind of get a feel for it, let's take a look at the sine and the cosine. Notice we have 0 degree angle, 30 degree, 45, 60, and 90 degree angles. And notice that the value for the cosine of the angle goes from 1 to the square root of 3 over 2, to the square root of 2 over 2, to 1 half to 0. And the sine of that angle goes from 0 to 1 half to the square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, and 1. Notice that these are the exact same numbers, but simply in reverse. And so you can say then, if you take an angle of 90 degrees minus, let's say, 30 degrees, you get 60 degrees, and that's where the cosine of 30 is the same as the sine of 60. So that's where we have that relationship. When we take 90 degrees and we subtract the original angle from it, we get then the what we call the cofunction. And so we can call the sine the cosine cofunctions, the tangent and cotangent cofunctions, and the secant and the cosecant are cofunctions because of this relationship right there. You might have already noticed that. It's hard to miss that when you first start seeing the trigonometric identities and you start talking about the sine and the cosine for various angles, but that's how we put it then into a nice relationship, and we call that therefore the cofunctions. So these are what we call the cofunctions, these are two cofunctions, and those are two cofunctions because they're related in that particular fashion. Knowing this, remembering that, can come in really handy in some instances. So there you go, those are what we call the cofunction identities.